Good soapy morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm harvesting beauty berries. Aren't they lovely? I have several of these growing across my property. This one in particular, the birds love. <laughs> it's near water and so the birds come for a drink and have a few berries and they're happy as they can be. And this one also is near the sun, so the drought was rather rough on it. Luckily, I have several others that are in the shade that are much more protected. And the um, reason I'm harvesting these, and again, these are known as Calicarpa Americana, or the American Beauty Berry. Uh, here in Texas, they also call them a turkey bush. But they're uh, flavorful, they smell wonderful, and I'm going to put them in a soap. I'm going to try them in a lotion and also in a scrub because they have these wonderful little seeds in them that when you grind them up, they are very similar to flaxseed and just one of my favorite berries and I want to share it with you and it makes a wonderful jelly preserves just wonderful uh, slightly f sweet but with a floral undertone and if you like fragrances like lavender you would love the flavor of this. <laughs> All right, so I cooked this on very low heat for about two hours. You can see the berries have darkened quite a bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take the immersion blender and grind them all up into little bitty pieces. So here we go. Now, due to the drought this year, these are darker than normal. Usually, these are more of a red tint. After they're cooked, I mean. These are darker. These are more like elderberry or blueberries or blackberries. They're very dark this year. And I think it's because of the lower water content now, yes, we've had a lot of rain recently, but these were forming their berries during the drought. So I think that's really had an impact on the moisture content of them and thus the color. But it doesn't affect the flavor. And as a matter of fact, I go in and take a taste of these because I love them that much. Now, because I'm using these in soap, I'm not adding sugar to them. So they're not as sweet as they would be if you were making a jelly or jam. But I know what I'm tasting for and they have that in spades. Just delicious. And uh, these are perfect and ready to go. So hang on and in the next video I think I'm going to do a scrub first. So watch for that. Here it comes. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.